everyone and welcome back to Car Chat TV. I'm Oliver, that's Adam. Say hello. Hello. We're all here, we're all here. Excited. How you doing? Are we gonna well, <laughs> fist me like last time? Let's meet our guest. I think today. I might do. <laughs> do one. I you want your drone film in my back garden. Right, we're buzzing today because last year we bumped into this really cool, sophisticated guy and we thought, ah, oh, we got on well with him. He sat at our dinner table at an Audi Influencer Day yeah. and everyone was walking up to him going, hi Alex, how are you? And no one was talking to us. I know, we were just in the corner, <laughs> weren't we? We, we were just... really well with Alex. Yeah. Good lad. So basically, we've just given it away. His name's Alex Stead. He's, he's, let's give him the stats because that's what people care about most of these days. That's what you care about. It's like, no, no, I don't, I, don't, I like people with like not many followers. You're, you're the one who likes the likes. Anyway, he's got 1.1 mil, he's got a blue tick dick, and that's what people care about. Um, that's like a thing they call the tick, by the way. We haven't actually seen his, what he has in his trousers. I haven't seen his wing before. No, not yet, maybe today. So today's gonna be a good fun one. Uh, we've got a few challenges because he's a really good photographer, so we wanna see uh, what he can do on the spot. Let me, let me jump out, I can see him. I was wondering where you were. Okay. I'm good, mate. I've got this all on the. I'm cool. I'm the camera. How you doing? Nice to see you. Oh, mate. We're all here. We're all here. We're I'm excited. Yeah. Right, look, he's even got look. have here someone's rather lovely Porsche Cayman S 2013 981 but whose car is it I wonder well we've got a very special guest on the show come on in it's Alex Stead hey mate how you doing are we gonna oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy, it's how you Alex doing? Stead nice Fist to see me. you good to see you. you look good as well thank you got the blonde Danny Zuko here all in black so how long have you had this car for so since August last year so coming up to well nearly a year this summer it's absolutely gorgeous. What what made you go for white? Oh mate, I just wanted the spec. I wanted a few colours like white, red or yellow, but I think honestly the spec was the most yeah. important thing for me in terms of the interior, in terms of the wheels. And so white was probably second choice, but it is really hard to find a good spec of one of these now. Right, let's have a little wonder. Okay. I want you to pick out some awesome features of the car. Maybe it's some, something the way it looks. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Um, I wanted these wheels. I love these kind of light grey, um, not completely black. They do a solid black, yeah. glossy ones, and I don't really like them. So I kind of wanted, what would you say, light grey. Yeah, that looks um, cool. Red calipers, super nice, super clean. I think some of my favourite Porsche wheels. So these were a must do. 20 um, inches there, yeah, 20 lovely. Inch. I love these. As well, oh, the side vents. Intakes. These are nice because they're black. People get them painted white, but I think it's nice to define kind of the feature of the car. Um, and what's it been like using it as well? Because it's got some good storage, isn't it? 275 yeah, yeah. boot space, uh, 275 litres in the back. Daily, it's incredible. Uh, it can't fit my biggest suitcase in, really, but it yeah. can fit most bags. And I can fit a load of gear in here and I can fit a load of gear in the front. And as a photographer, like my gear's safe in the front. Yeah. Unless the people have a right go at it and are going to smash it in, they can't really know that I have all my camera gear, which is pretty useful for me. And it, all of this yeah. stuff's hidden here. Right, and then we're going to come around the front because we might as well have a look at the... Uh, yeah, let's have a look at the front booth. The front space, because this is absolutely deep. I've, uh, so, I've been in, look at that. I've been in shallower caverns. It's so, really good, actually. You can fit an entire Alex Stead in the front. Alex Stead comes yeah, on the yeah. 150 litres there. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, it's pretty deep and it can fit most bags in, which is really useful. So we've got some stats about this guy. It's got 321 brake horsepower, 370 newton metres of torque. This is a 3.4 naturally aspirated flat yeah. six, right? Yeah, it's a great year. So they built it between 2013 and 2016. Yeah. After that, they built a flat four uh, turbocharged, turbo yeah. and I've driven quite a few, and it, it, it's pretty soulless. It's incredibly fast. It's incredibly I don't know, well built, but it it lacks the exhaust note. Ex, ex, I don't know. There's yeah. like that feeling. The naturally, yeah, yeah. Sound that for the purest. So it's like a good wine. It's a good year. So I think what we should do now is because we just walked around this beautiful car. We need to get inside it, and I, I want to hear this this beautiful noise. And we want to see what you look behind the wheel. Let's, Let's go. It. You're taking me out. It's our first date. 
first day. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. So this is so cool. I love the interior. I love how you can see the haunches as well. They pop up and, and then drop down. Because I like to be able to see the bonnet. Are you yeah, the yeah. same? Do you like that? Yeah, yeah. This is a, a PDK, isn't it? Yeah. Seven speed. Um, what made you go for this one over that? Again, you like the talk about the, the spec that you Yeah, 100%. After. So spec wise, I looked for a car for like four to six months. I think it was towards six months. Yeah. Um, because I was very particular with what I wanted. I really wanted PDK because um, I drive sometimes quite long mileage. I'm, I like the quicker changes because you obviously get a quicker 0 to 60. Yeah. Um, I, for manual enthusiasts, that's maybe a bit of an insult. I, I just love a PDK. It's guess. so good. Yeah. And it's like, I use this every day. Like yeah. I don't have another car, so I cruise around London in it. And London is already a stressful place to drive. There you go, 100%. So, any, any city yeah. you want, like auto, don't you? Because you want to be yeah. messing around, getting hand ache, getting, yeah, yeah. getting wrist ache. So why the 981 2013, like Cayman S, why not? you know, the, the 718 or, you know, the one before, the 986. Oh, look at that. That does sound nice. It does. It does, doesn't it? So, because you told me you, you've driven the 718 and you... Yeah, uh, and I've driven the 2.7 litre. So, I drove a manual 2.7 litre and it was on sale for like 30, 32 grand. Yeah. And I just wanted to hold out a little bit further because like I drove it and my friend had this car and he was like, mate, you've got to just hold out a little yeah. bit more. It's it's 100% worth it. And I'd agree, do not get the 2.7. Okay. Like, you just feel like slightly let down. And So that's just the Cayman, isn't yeah, it? That's just, just, this is the Cayman S. Yeah, yeah, that's just the normal Cayman. Just the Cayman is the 2.7 NA. 2.7, and it, it's still a good car. You still get the same sort of interior. Uh, maybe it's not spec'd up as high because yeah. people don't spend as much. Yeah, um, but, but it's like anything, isn't it? If you can afford yeah. it, you just want to get that extra. Yeah, like I held fun. out another couple of months and like, I was, uh, yeah, just uh, like a little bit more to get the game in there. I love that. <laughs> yeah. That's so good. And you're so happy now because you've got oh, yeah. what you wanted. Right, so we are going to do a little bit of a challenge. Um, Alex is obviously a wizard when it comes to photography. So we're going to find somewhere to park up and I'm going to give him a little challenge and see how he, uh, how he copes with it. We spoke about a little challenge, didn't we? I think it's only fair, considering we've got the world's best photographer, car photographer, on the channel. I want to set him a little bit of a challenge. 30 seconds, I want five pictures, either car or together. Yeah, yeah. You brought your camera? No. Brilliant, because you can use your iPhone. And then what we'll do is, 30 seconds, five pictures, I want them all different, <laughs> well diversification, all that stuff, and then I'll take some pictures after, and then we'll, uh, we'll rate them in the edit. Are you ready? 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Are you kidding me? Three, two, one, go. Where's he going? He's going, he's coming inside first. Why are you doing that? What's going oh. on? Oh, okay. Bit of angles different. I turned on the lights. How long have I got? I've got to be quick. I don't know. I'll get in the road. Make sure, I'll make sure How no one much? comes. You will be kidding me. Well, that's two. He's done two. He's done two. Yeah, get your drug dealing gear. Awesome. He's done that before. 10 more seconds. 10? Yeah, 10, look, look, look. No talking. How many has he taken? Hang on, it's gone on video. Stop. How many you got? Oh, I took a video of the last one. Oh, what? <laughs> Hang on a minute. How many videos we got? How many? One, two, three. These are terrible. Hang on, no, that, that's number one. One, two, that's two, three. three. Right, I'll have to use your phone because it's got to be saying, make it fair. That was terrible, okay. mate. No, it's not too bad. You might have to unlock it, otherwise that's not fair either. <laughs> With the thing, right. <clears throat> what did you shoot on? Oh, it's not saying, mate. Well, not on the video. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what a gear. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> Photo. Right, okay. Um, go on then, count me down. Three, two, go. Oh, that's a good one. You got in that one, Alex. Oh, sorry, mate. You got in that one. <laughs> Four, three, two, one. Oh, he's done it again. <laughs> he's got in him. Well, how many have I got? Let's see. <clears throat> one, look at him there. One, two. Looks like we're taking photos for an insurance accident on the side of the road. <laughs> Do you know what, though? I, I burnt more calories. Who took the better pictures? Absolute amateur. 
or world's most famous car photographer, Alex Stead. Let's get back in the car, I'm knackered. Oh. I didn't want to speak over that bit, because that's just so... Yeah, it's, it, it's hard to put on audio that how much of a granite it has. How, what are the brakes like on this? Um, they're good. I think they're yeah. good. I mean, mine need replacing soon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but they're good. They're pretty, pretty solid. Um, yeah, braking's good. Steering's good. I love it. So we're... Oh, what's that? Seven and a half thousand just for it red lines. Yeah, I'm not quite looking down there. Then, but... No, I, I'll, I'll do the looking. <laughs> and then, I mean, it feels so complete. So we're in yeah. sport mode at the moment, right? So stiffen, stiffens up everything a little bit. Yeah, stiffens up. Every, well, I think uh, I think Sport Plus stiffens the suspension up. Yeah. So if you click the suspension down there and see if you can tell, really. Let's have a look. Yeah. Because that's pretty good. So we've got chassis sport selected. Yeah. And then classic uh, chassis normal, normal selected. Yeah. So there's two. Oh, I had a little bit of poppage then. You tried the 718, didn't you? Yeah. You said, but. The, a lot of people say like the 718's got is soulless, like the, the sound isn't as pure as this, and although it is a little bit more uh, grunty and unlike B roads and, and quicker, yeah. But it were, it wasn't for you. Yeah, I've I've driven a few and I've actually shot a few for Porsche. Uh, I've shot the GT. <laughs> yeah. well, photography wise, I've shot yeah. the GT4. I've shot the Boxster, uh, the 2.5 liter GTS. I've shot. So I've, I've had a lot of time to have a go in those. Like I've driven thousands of miles in them. I love that, yeah. And like even the GT4 is lacking a bit of exhaust note and a bit of like that passion. It's like, I don't know if it's to do with emission regulations, but I mean, they're rev limited, so you can't, I mean, who sits at the traffic light, it's revving. I oh, know. But you know what I mean? It's got <laughs> us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like, you know what I mean? It's kind of lost that, is that, oh, it's got a rev limiter. I it's know, like, I know. They are emissions. In, yeah, they're incredible cars. They're, they have refined it really well, but I think it's just a bit lifeless. And I think, um, you know, if someone said, oh, you could have a brand new, I don't know, two and a half litre GTS, you know, 60, 70 grand, or you could have this for 40. I'd be like, this is a way yeah. better, way better pick out of the two. So I want to talk to you a little bit about yeah. your your job yeah, and yeah. Like also like cars, because like you you take some insane f photographs, Thank all right? You. And we've, you know, he's got a blue tick as well on Instagram. Make sure you follow him. It's very easy. It's Alex Stead. Yeah, yeah. Um, easy to find. Easy to find. S-T-A-D. And you travel the world with your pictures 1.1 million followers you deserve more some of the pictures are incredible Thank you. i've done blowing smoke up your ass now so how did <laughs> how did you like get into cars and photography how did it all start uh so photography i started quite young i started when i was 13. um so there was a course at my school which i yeah. did uh, so speed on five years i did that for five years at my school uh but it's very basic stuff i learned a lot about film development yeah uh, kind of the art of photography uh, and then I left school when I was, well, 18, and I started, uh, I wanted to go to university to study photography. Uh, so I went there for a year, absolutely hated it. Oh, no, wait, so, what uni did you go to? Uh, Falmouth, down in okay. Cornwall. Okay, okay. Um, so I absolutely hated it. I don't know, it was just, it wasn't for me, so I dropped out of university and I started uh, my own photography business when I was 19. Wow, so, entrepreneur at 19, <laughs> love that. So yeah, I started when I was about 19 working and um, with the car photography, it was always a passion of mine, to be honest. I always used to go to Knightsbridge when I was like 16 yes. and just like Seeing walk the cars around. The yeah, yeah. As well, yeah. well, even not even the showroom, it's just like Bugatti's left on the street, Ferrari's parked on the corner. Um, yeah, you would you could actually get some quite half decent shots. Yeah. Kind of, yeah, have a bit of, like get some good photos. So that was, that was quite good for me. So what was the four cars when you were just taking pictures to begin with? Um, what was that? I, was just, I just took photos of really anything, uh, to be honest. I love it when you see a straight road. Oh, yeah, I know, it's, like, it's too no talking. <laughs> <laughs> it just grunt, I love it. Um, so I just took photos of really anything. I think most photographers, when they start out pretty yeah. young, they just kind of take photos of everything and figure out what they like and what they don't like. Yeah. Um, and then you found cars. Yeah, so I found cars and I found I found travel as well. And I mean, to be honest, I always liked the idea of doing travel photography, but it yeah. was a pretty far out uh, kind of reach. But then I, um, you know, I did some kind of boring photography jobs. I shot like, I don't know, 
bird. Uh, I shot. <laughs> there's just a, there's a lot to concentrate on. Um, so I started doing like kind of boring photography, so shooting people at events, kind of yeah. like corporate stuff. I don't know, like anything I could really do to get some money. Yeah. And then what I do with that money was just like I don't know. Me and my friend rented like the cheapest car in Iceland and slept in the back of it and ate cold pasta for a week, so oh. I could go take like my travel portfolio and try like be like I don't know, like get better at travel photography and yeah. that kind of stuff because I just loved it. That's awesome. Um, and that's kind of how my Instagram kind of came around. That's I was, what I was going to say. Yeah, when, yeah. when did you start? Because those volcano pictures were amazing. <laughs> but when did you start thinking, right, social media, this is massive. I need to start, you know, building a you know, portfolio on the Insta. Um, I actually started Instagram when I was 16. Uh, okay. So I've been on it a long time. What is that? Well, yeah, nine years. I've been on Instagram, so I kind of started sharing my work from like just walking around London, yeah. taking like kind of building shots, quite urban. If you probably scroll back quite a while, if people have that much time, yeah. like I, I started off doing very urban photography. Yeah, um, now that's cool though. Yeah, it's always good to see what what your pictures now to what you've done. Yeah, and see obviously personal growth and yeah, hundred percent. I mean, at the start, I wasn't definitely traveling that much at yeah. all and if I did have money to travel it was off my own back I'd go I don't know New York and shoot urban stuff and things so I you know doing those rubbish jobs kind of actually led to stuff I actually wanted to yeah, do yeah, which yeah. was time for an exhaust challenge a sound test we've got the Cayman S here against the BMW M2 similar price points what sound can they make right come on and I'll start up Turn it off, that sounded juicy. Right, BMW M2, here we go. Alright Adam, cheers. Right, you choose. What's better, Cayman S or M2? Let me know in the comments below. Some people hate being called an influencer though. Yeah, I do I don't well, like it. No. Yeah, exactly. When you're like, no, I'm a I'm professional. An yeah, I'm a professional photographer yeah. who has a following. I, yes. I'm honestly an accidental influencer. Like I never wanted like it was great I got a following and yeah. like I wanted to share my work online but I didn't ever expect that I'd have over a million followers. Like I kinda just shared my work for fun and hope yeah. something would come of it. But uh, yeah. That's so cool. How, how did the blue tick come about then? Is that hang on. Oh my gosh, it just keeps going. Yeah, that it was about going. that was about eight thousand. Eight thousand RPM. Yeah. So just wait, wait. How long does that? You want the blue tick? Does that just? How does that come about? Just wake up one night because you you noticed on like what? Uh, magazines? No, it took a lot of work to be honest because I my old agency was well connected. Yeah. Uh, but uh, with Instagram, but even still, it was quite a process. You got to have like articles written about you. Yeah. You got to be like kind of sort of well known and have quite an online presence. So if you type in my name to Google, there'll be a few articles about me. I love that. And you you've got to send them that so you're a recognised figure or something. Yeah. Uh, so that's so cool. Um, they they sent my application to Instagram and they yeah they looked at it and accepted it so yeah, uh, but nice. it's not it, it's not an easy process and uh, yeah I was actually quite lucky to get verified I guess what's the best best car you've taken a picture of best car first thing that comes to your head best car definitely Lamborghini Eva Huracan yeah absolutely mental why why is that one just um just the the V10 engine is absolutely crazy. I yeah, think. It especially in this day well. and age when cars are red, red limited, like yeah. sound limited. You drive a new 911, it's quite muffled. Mm. I honestly do not have, know the how they get away with <laughs> having that in their car. It's absolutely because you've driven an R8. Yeah, same engine. V10. V10 sounds great. I've driven both, and it is it's crazy. Like they just they send it to Italy and they go yeah. absolutely mad. So let's talk about things you don't like. Yeah, because that's always a good talking point, isn't it? Like what I have hate about my own car. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hate about it. Yeah. Oh, hey, things I hate. Well, when you're driving by yourself, that's that seatbelt rattles against okay. the side. That's pretty irritating. They're like, because the, the, I don't know, it's so small, but it like jangles against It's just the something seat. they could actually have it so it just stays in there, like a little design yeah, yeah, feature yeah. that holds it, just, it maybe. Yeah, like wax against the side, that's that's an annoying thing. What else? The right, it's pretty loud on the motorways. Once you're cruising at 70, the wheel noise is pretty high. But I mean, it's a small sports car, so I kind of knew what I was yeah, getting myself yeah. into. But when you're taking it for, yeah, I yeah. guess what you're saying, long journey. Yeah, five or six hours, you're like, actually, it's pretty loud on the wheel noise. Like a hum. Uh, yeah, like a, you know, a loud hum, but I think that's because it's got 20 inch wheels, really. And yeah, it's not, it's not that bad of a thing. I can persist through that. 
I've been in worse cars. <laughs> Do you get a lot of attention, like, uh, you know, women, men, animals, just whatever? Um, but... Not massively. It depends where I am, to be honest. In London, this is, like, a fairly common car. I get a bit of attention. Yeah. But if I go, like, somewhere up north, <laughs> it gets quite a lot of attention. But if I'm in, like, the Peak District or yeah, something, just... it gets a fair amount of attention, That's, depending yeah. where I am. I mean, it's gorgeous looking car, and especially yeah. for, for Porsche enthusiasts. Do you do, do, do the old thing, like if you see another Cayman, like, hello? Like, uh, I do give them a, you're right, mate. <laughs> has to be the same make and model. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a 718, don't look at me. Yeah, uh, don't look at me, 718. You've made bad choices. Oh, what an episode. How much fun was that? A Alex, lot. thanks so lot. much no for worries, coming mate. on the show. Good to see you. What was your favourite part? Revving the crap out of it. I don't get away with that in London. For oh. the countryside. Definitely, it's a lot of fun. So there's only one thing left to say. Get sub. Sub? Yeah. Sub. And subscribe. subscribe and like and watch it. If you like this car, and we'll see you on the, the next, next one. video.